Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Algorithm HQ. Today I am going to write the code and also explain you the algorithm for this find a peak element second problem which is there in lead code. So let me give you all a small overview of this problem. We are given with a matrix with m number of rows and n number of columns. Now our task is to find an element for which the elements 1 above, 1 below, 1 right or 1 left are smaller than this element. Also, note that there can be multiple peak elements in the matrix and we can return position of any of those elements. Now, let's understand this problem by considering the first example given. In the first example, the matrix given is 1, 4, 3 and 2. Now, the element 4 is a peak element because all of its neighbors are smaller than this. That is 1 and 2 are smaller than this element and there are no elements above or at right. Same is true for this element 3, which is also a peak element in this case. For now, I can think of two approaches to check for the peak element. In the brute force approach, we will go to each and every element and check for all the neighbors if they are smaller than the current element. In another approach, we will move to the element which is greater than the current element and will not stop until we find an element for which all of its neighbors are lesser than the current element. Now, let's go and understand the algorithm. We will take two pointers i and j, initialize both with 0. Then we will use a while loop to iterate over the matrix while i is less than total number of rows and j is less than total number of columns. Now we will consider the element at matrix i and j and check if there exists an element at left, right, below or above which is greater than the current element. If true, we will move to that particular element by incrementing or decrementing i or j according to the direction. Otherwise, current pointers i and j are your answer. As we will always find a peak element but need to return an array even after the loop ends, so we will return an empty array. Now, let us do a dry run over this. As i and j both are 0, we are at this element 1. We will check if there exists an element at right as there are no elements above or at left. So, we will check if there exists an element at right which is greater than the current element. So, yes, there exists this element 4 which is greater than 1. So, we will move to the right direction by 1 by incrementing j. We are incrementing j because we are moving one column ahead. Then we will come to this element 4 and we will check if there exists any neighbor which is greater than this. So no. So for this case 0 comma 1 is our answer. That is i comma j. Now let's go and write the code. We will take these pointers i is equal to 0 and j is equal to 0. Then we will use a while loop while i is less than matrix dot length and j is less than matrix 0 dot length. Matrix 0 dot length is the number of columns. Now we will start checking if element at left that is i comma 1 that is i minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. And element at left is greater than the current element which is i comma j. true then i will be decremented by 1 else if if j minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 and matrix of i j minus 1 is greater than the current element i if this is true, 
then we will move to j minus 1 else if i plus 1 is less than matrix dot length and matrix of i plus 1 comma j is greater than the current element i comma j if this is the case then i is equal to i plus 1 else if j plus 1 is less than matrix 0 dot n that is the total number of columns and matrix of i j plus 1 is greater than matrix of i comma j that is the current element then we will increment j by 1 else we will create an array answer with i and j and return this answer now after coming out of the loop we will return an empty array Uh, I missed this semicolon here. Sample test cases are passing. And the code is running successfully. Thank you very much everyone for watching. And please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Also, Please tell me in the comment section if I have to improve on something or if you guys want me to solve any other problems on any other platforms. That's it for the video. Bye.